Hey, man. Hi, Scott. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, mate. Good. Good. How you doing? Are we supposed to say, hey, you guys, at the beginning or not? Do people do that? Uh, if you'd like to, that would be, we could add you to the, to the list of many famous people that have said it. Hey, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, it's, it is great fun and, uh, and really charming. But I have to say, I don't think I've ever heard the phrase, you have the manners of a Billingsgate fishwife said, and I've laughed so much at something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a period from, it's, well, I mean, spotted, isn't when, you, when you guys read that, that <laughs> when you guys read that for the first time, did it give you a sense of what the film was going to be the kind of the playful pithiness of, of everything as well as the you know the love story that's going on underneath yeah definitely i i i got a real buzz after the read through because i'd been brought on <laughs> really late to the film which in a way is wonderful because you don't have time to think and overthink um and so that first read through was really informative for me because I'd just been on my own in quarantine for about two weeks in Dublin, Ireland, where we shot the movie. And um, so I'd just been kind of saying the lines in isolation and, and a good chunk of our cast had done the, the short film together a couple of years ago and probably had a better understanding of tonally where the film was gonna go. But I was really excited when I heard how the rom-com elements were gonna were gonna come through the the more sort of regency sweeping romantic uh moments as well and i think you i mean you particularly we all but you particularly which i love was you you know pushed that it, it was there on the on, in the script but i think we lent into that for the the deliciousness of it, the fun of it, you know, the twinkle of it. Um, totally. And I, I thought, I thought that was really. In, I remember the read through, hearing that what Zara was doing, and thinking, oh, fucking great, you know, because it's it's a little different, and um, it has all the elements of many period dramas, but I think that element of it just, uh, I don't know, infuses it with something a little different. And this oh, guy, yeah. this this guy being the secret comedian, people know him for the brooding, intense. <laughs> stuff you know huge franchises <laughs> whatnot but you are such a comedian Theo and and I think again that was a part of the deliciousness as, as you say of that read through it was like everyone just unlocking mm. that sizzle and that energy in each other was um really organic and really it's really fun yeah and there's a uh, Theo I wanted to ask you about the art of wearing a mustache because it reminded me of a I don't know if you've ever seen it uh, there's a family guy episode where Peter Griffin <laughs> I have seen has it. a moustache and he wears lots of denim and yeah <laughs> lots of this he becomes sort of a different person how did how did it encompass you wearing wearing the moustache uh yeah I wanted him to look different I guess but I, I started off uh with this terrible look I don't know if you remember that I, I, I went for the moustache with the full mutton thing in the chops connected and what it does is it completely <laughs> makes your chin disappear so I look like a frog basically but uh and I was like yeah it's all right isn't it <laughs> <laughs> my wife said, "Just like, just say no. You look repulsive." <laughs> and I uh, completely took it off. But, uh, but yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the mustache look. I have to say, it was very dashing. <laughs> you find yourself doing the little twirls because that's all that usually comes with it, isn't it? You can't. I guess you can't help but have a little play with it when you've got it on. Play with it. Yeah, exactly. Play with it. <laughs> we'll grow one back. Actually. Actors, do. We, love, we love props and we yeah, love it's true. moustaches. We love what can shit we in our hands to to do? Uh, The other thing I was going to ask you both was about the art of playing croquet, which is you know an old an old English thing of playing croquet and all that kind of stuff. It's not exactly football, you know. But what was it like doing that? Because it looks like such a weird thing to to play, but is part of a little bit part of this story. <laughs> I've, I feel like the croquet scene is just such a brilliant um, Regency era trope in so many different films. And so many. Everyone yeah. does them a little different. Yeah, yeah. I would say maybe ours leans more towards the anarchic <laughs> <laughs> croquet. Um, I, I, I personally remember being taught in the moment how to play croquet. I don't think we, we managed to get I still because of COVID protocol. <laughs> Because of the COVID protocol, I don't think we actually got a group rehearsal to do it. And um, no. if you see in, in the beginning of, of, of that scene, it's set up with, with my character uh, kind of 
scoring a point. Don't even know if that's what it's called. Um, but the shot is so easy. <laughs> the ball is next to the yeah, little yeah. guy, uh, the little hoop. And, um, and my character has to be like, mm, I'm mm, I really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> like, <laughs> I only so, realised that watching it. I thought, oh god, <laughs> really spoon fed there. Yeah, yeah. Good bit of croquet, uh, and I, obviously you get to wear these wonderful costumes. Is there anything about them that's something that you would that you've kept or that was uncomfortable? Because I know that particularly for for ladies, the corsets aren't exactly uh, fun to wear. Unless Theo, you had one on underneath just to see what it was like. I, mean, I, I wish. Don't, I don't know. I had a crotch corset on to kind of really, really volume, you know. Keep it all in. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be like, oh, uh, is it, you can't quite tell the size, I like. Uh, no, I mean, I have to say when you're doing period stuff, I mean, you you probably had a lot of your stuff made for you. Yes. Some of mine was, you know, had been through the the ringer, should we say? So I wouldn't be keeping it because it would stink at someone's bo. <laughs> Just like eighteen hundred bo. Or like you know, six BBC productions later. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, the corset the corsets, interestingly, of that era are, aren't um, aren't too uncomfortable. They're they're more for. Mm. Um, kind of uh, cleavage lifting than anything else because the shape of the dresses are actually quite loose and straight. So oh. that's that had an element of comfort. And then when we did the uh, masquerade ball, we were sort of all in different costumes and mine was, um, I think it was, I can't remember what era it was now, but it was the era where the where the corsets were that cinched. much more cinched, and so I I got one scene to experience the really intense corseted moment. But otherwise, um, I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of liked it. <laughs> and just quickly before before I go, uh, obviously it's painful to what would you do rather have wore? I'm asking you. I'm sorry about this, Theo, but I'm asking you all about this one. Uh, would you prefer to wear the period corset stuff or whatever garments you've been wearing in your little time with uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe? <laughs> oh, you're really trying to get me snipered today. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm going to say the, the Regency era suited me just fine. I really, I actually really enjoyed it. The thing I enjoyed most about it, mm. interestingly, the bonnets. Mm. I'd like to, I'd maybe just like to bring that in. Are you a hat person in real life? I am a hat person, really? yeah. What yeah. kind of thing? Do you, I mean, lots of... I like a beret, mm. yeah, maybe a fedora, Ooh. depending on the nice. season. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the bonnet, I've got a few picky blinders. Tail yes. bonnet, though, you know, like it, the fun bonnet, not the yeah. terrible oppressive bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> I've got lots of picky blinders hats here to cover up my ever balding head. So that's nice. <laughs> the flat cap. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I think they're pretty cool. To be fair, they're so great. it's all cool. it's all good. They're it's great. perfect. <laughs> uh, guys, so lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, good luck with the film when it uh, Thank when it arrives. You. Thanks, for ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.